This may not look like a high school classroom, but that is by design, as these students are challenged with a different approach to learning. Our Sitgo Innovation Academy is fantastic. What it does is it provides students, not only from our neighborhood, but any students also that transfer in, an experience and an instructional program that is focused on math and science and technology. And our students that come through the program actually get to experience what it's like to study to be an engineer, to study to be a, a forensic scientist, to study to be anything that they want to do in the STEM field. It's very hard to learn out of a textbook. Uh, Almost everybody that I know, including myself, are hands-on learners. Uh, give me something, let's build it, and you know, then we can read about it. But we have to make the mistakes in order to be able to understand you know, how to fix them. So what we're working on now is that everybody gets to build a robot and, and change up the design. Come up with a new design to, to, to their specifications. Uh, there's a student that wants to make their ROV come out of the water and fly. And so we're a little bit, you know, kind of far away from that. But, you know, the sky's the limit. Who knows? He may come up with that. There's a lot more to what you think that there would really be about. You have to solder everything. And we're starting from scratch, so you have to actually cut through all the tubes. And we're using all recycled materials, too. So. I love all the technical aspects that they teach us that we can apply to real world situations, such as capping oil wells, or you name it. We can, we can fix it, take care of it. And that seems to be the motto in every class, including this one, where students are expected to think and work like engineers. This is a, uh, oh yeah, this is a little chassis right here. Uh, it uh, run, runs off uh, solar power. The solar panel right here uh, gets electricity from light. Uh, this right here is the motor. And uh, this right back here uh, is the uh, fuel source. Uh, over the last several days, they've been working on their chassis. And today is actually the day of testing where we put the, the cars on a uh, charge, we have lights for the solar arrays, charging the hydrogen fuel cells, and we actually put them head to head in a competition with each other, looking at the distance traveled, speed, and also weight. Well, I'm learning a little bit more about engineering, uh, you know, how, you know how, stuff, how stuff works, how, how you can able to make electricity from uh, light, and uh, just how to make things uh, smaller, lighter, and better knowledge that can pay off in the long run. As some local business partners, like those at Sitgo Refinery, have recognized and rewarded with contributions that make this program possible. As you know, this, uh, this community is, is very much part of the uh, industrial uh, corridor, uh, has a lot of refineries, a lot of uh, uh, chemical plants, a lot of uh, manufacturing plants that requires um, higher education, certifications, or a set of skills. And if, uh, if you don't have any of those, then it's gonna be very difficult to find employment. So we see, we see the big picture. We know that we invest in the children, we invest in the programs that we partner with CCISD uh, to help their innovative uh, curriculum. That it couldn't have reached the heights that it did without the support of Sitco. So having us had come together and renaming the program, the, the Academy into the Sitco Innovation Academy is a source of pride for us as well as not only that, it's also a reflection of the work that we've done together. I mean, everything that we need that's related to instructional development of our students, they recognize as workforce development for them in the future. Because before I entered this class, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And now I think that this is going to be a profession that I want to enter into. Do something that has to do with the ocean, such as an oceanographic engineer, maybe building oil rig platforms for the ocean and just fun stuff. Anything that, I just want to have a job that I love, you know. We believe in education. We believe in investing in the children of this community. Uh, we see that uh, in return tenfold. Uh, every day we see it. Oh,